Hey guys, what's going on? Absolutely beast here. Bringing you guys a race today on Forza Motorsport 6 uh, on the Mons. Figured it was kind of fitting because the Mon just happened. Uh, just, I think, the last couple days. Um, so, anyway, sorry guys, I haven't been uploading as much. Um, I'm sort of in that in that uh, zone that um, everybody gets into where you just, you know, you sort of aren't feeling it, really. Um, those of you who, who play games and stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Even, even those of you who are like, you know, big Netflix watchers and YouTube watchers and stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Eventually there comes a time where you feel like all your content is exhausted. You know, you feel like there's nothing to do. And then basically what happens are your, your days basically seem to drag on for weeks. So it's only been like two weeks, but I haven't really been playing at all. I've only been playing, I probably only played like 40 hours worth of games the last two weeks, which for me is nothing. Uh, it's less than three hours a day, which is kind of shocking, actually, to hear that. Um, just recently, when I was working seven days a week and had a lot of things going on, and I was uploading every day, uh, or tried to, you know, I was trying to, when I'm getting my channel started back up, uh, it was just, you know, that was rough for me, because I had a lot going on, wasn't exactly sleeping the best, you know, just losing a little bit of sleep, because I just had, you know, just wasn't enough time. And, uh, yeah, I mean, at that time I was only able to get, you know, two, three hours in worth of games, um, which for me was, you know, for me it was, it was like, man, I only get to play this much, but it sort of drove me to, like, want to play the next day. But now I just have, you know, I have more free time. Not that I've worked any less now. I still work the same amount that I did, but I just, you know, I haven't felt like playing games. So my, you know, two, three hours a night has turned into <laughs> an hour or two hours every other night or every third night. So I've really just been slacking and just sort of going through that down phase. Um, but you know what, though? It's, it's a perfect time to do it uh, because E3 just happened and there's lots of games coming out this fall and they're going to be hyped. So I'd rather, you know, kind of be tired and bored of it now and take a little bit of a breather if I need to and then, uh, you know, get hyped for these games. So first of all, it's Forza Motorsport 7, obviously. Um, that's what I'm most excited for. Uh... You know, that cover car is awesome, that Porsche GT2 RS. Um, it's a pretty cool car. I, not exactly a supercar, um, although I guess in this in this day and age, that could be considered a supercar, and then like a hypercar would be something a little more expensive. But I mean, the car can't be more than 200 grand. Now, because it's there's so much hype around it, I'm sure it'll probably be close to that initially, um, as the value is really high. But I can't imagine the, ba the actual pricing of the car to be more than like, you know, 150, 175 grand. Um, which, you know, that's a lot of money, but that's not like, you know, the, they had the 4 GT on there last time around, and 4 or 6, and that thing was like at least several hundred grand, uh, and then what they were selling for is even uh, more than that, so, um, I don't know, that was interesting, and then, you know, of course, uh, racing games are very unique in the sense that it's kind of hard to get a, an idea of what the game's going to be like just from the visuals, because um, while the visuals are important, you know, it's more about the feel, and kind of the visuals of the track, and so for me, you know, without, without sounding like an elitist, uh, you know, the drivers weren't the best, and whether that was actual real live drivers playing that, uh, you know, reveal trailer, whether it was like a, you know, trailer they actually made, drivers weren't the best, so it's kind of hard to tell what was really going on with the car, and like, you know, how they could push the car and stuff, and, and I guess that's also just me being a more like, I, I guess you could say almost professional type racer on here where I want something more serious. I'm not just in here to sort of like screw around. And I, and I don't race in the lower classes either, so that's another thing. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of hard to tell from there. Um, some of the things looked kind of cool, I guess. You know, like there's that one scene where they're driving up. First of all, they're driving to Dubai, which I'm fascinated by Dubai. Um, I'm fascinated by skyscrapers and that kind of stuff. And, and uh, I absolutely 100% believe, here I'm just messing around with cockpit view. You know, it was just a boring race for me, and so I was just messing around with it. I've never actually driven in the cockpit in this car, so I just wanted to see what it looked like. So I'm actually just fascinated by skyscrapers. I, I'm 100% convinced that in five, six, seven hundred years, um, much like we do now, looking back at the Middle Ages and the castles and stuff, they'll look back and be impressed by our skyscrapers and be like, man, these guys only had technology from the year 2000, the year 1900 or 2000, and they were building these, you know, 2,500-foot-tall skyscrapers. Anyway... Obviously, Dubai is famous for having the world's tallest building, which is, you know, the Burj Khalifa. It's like 2,700 feet or something, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's almost twice as tall as the World Trade Centers were, which is just 
ludicrous. So anyway, fascinated by that. It looked beautiful, and they have that track there. It's like a mountain road. Apparently, it's a famous road. Um, but it looks pretty good. But there's that one scene where you're driving up the hill, and, and he was talking about racing in live environments, and there's like those firework things going off. Kind of cool. But like, I could totally see that being really distracting after a while, or just plain annoying after a while, you know? But, anyway, that's just me. But there's a lot of really cool stuff that, that they've announced. I mean, like I said, the game looked pretty good. Um, not a, really a fan of the GTR, or the GDI. So, um, you know, didn't really like that whole gameplay part of it. And, you know, some of it was alright. I, I do like Zondas, so there's that one scene where there's like a Zonda, and he ends up coming in, he makes it too aggressive of a pass, and skids out in the rumble strip, and then slides out and hits the wall, and um, one of the cool things is, is, is uh, the actual drivers are reacting now to the accident. So if you crash or something or you get bumped, your driver's actually going to move inside the car, which is kind of cool. Um, I mean, th those little small details are the things that make these games, you know, better over time. Like, you don't think about that. Like, I just watched a really cool video where they had teenagers and they, they reacted to Windows 95. And... It was just, it reminded me of that, because one of them said, you know, it looks the same, kind of, like, but it's a lot less refined, it's a lot more rough, and I think that's sort of how games go. I mean, it's, it's hard at this point in time, technology's been growing so fast for so long, it's hard to really, like, come up with completely brand new stuff, and it's hard to come up with super innovative stuff. Um, so, you know, just the little refinement details they're working on are going to be uh, what, you know, make the difference in the game. Now, obviously, the graphics are going to look great, but... Um, so yeah, so they're, the dynamic weather, that's a pretty cool one. I think that's going to be epic. You're racing, like, you see those clouds up there in the distance. It'd be epic to see, like, gray clouds off in the distance, you know, on your first lap. And you're thinking, like, oh, man, is it going to rain? And then it sort of rolls in, and then it rains. And I know it's been done in games before, but, like, in Project Cars, that was one of the greatest features. Like, when me and my friends were racing on there, that's what we enjoyed so much, was the fact that we'd be racing, and then all of a sudden it would start to get overcast, and we'd be like, uh-oh, it's going to rain. And then it would start raining, and then it was like this strategy. Uh, now, they haven't really talked about this yet, but this would be like, you know, it would be like a strategy for us. Like, oh, man, is, are we going to, you know, are we going to switch to tires yet? We'd all be racing in a group, and we'd like, one of us would like slow down a little bit and then not go in the pit, and we'd all go like one more lap, you know, before we change our tires. And then, you know, as the race goes on, it'll rain, and the puddles will start to build up. Now, I'm not super excited that puddles are coming back. That's one of my least favorite things in this game. It honestly makes the rain undrivable for me. Not undrivable, but really not fun to drive. Um, I've thought for a while, since I've been racing this game again since like January, that they could totally um, do away with the puddles and just let the track be really slick and you have less grip and that would totally be fine. But um, anyway, whether I like it or not, puddles are coming back and they're going to be dynamic. So as it starts raining, they won't be as bad. And then as it continues to rain, they'll be worse. Uh, and then as it stops to rain, they'll start to dry up again, which is kind of cool. And they talked about, you know, puddles running off the track and, you know, the physics and the real, you know, recreation of the track and all that kind of stuff. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm just excited. One of the cool things I saw, which was with Dan Greenwald, that was in a random interview that he did. Um, he talked about, uh, someone had mentioned Pokemon, uh, and he started talking about how uh, they have a collector-type achievement or, or like, a uh, collector-type uh, challenge built into the game that they haven't talked about yet. And that's because of the fact that there's 700 and something cars, like 750 cars or whatever. They're talking about how, you know, he's like, if, if you have that many cars, how could you not want to, like, track your progress on collecting them all? So, um, that'll be something pretty exciting to see. I mean, I'm just excited in general for the game, so um, I can't wait. I'm about to pre-order it, but I'm not sure if I want to do the deluxe version. You know, you get the early access, which I don't really care about. It doesn't really seem worth it to do that just for the VIP, because um, it doesn't really make that much difference. I mean, like, right now in this game, I have, like, 180 million credits built up, which I don't spend, so... Anyway, thank you guys for checking this one out. I really appreciate it. Uh, check back soon for more content. I'll be uploading something again soon. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you like my content. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Catch you next time.